Hi, this is a warm-up set that I've cobbled together over the years and I've been uh, playing with it lately to reclaim some lost territory. Over the years our bodies collect a lot of tension and patterns that are no longer useful to us. So this is a way of, of unkinking the hose so we can let the chi flow a little bit better. So to begin, put your right foot forward, pick up your left heel. So all your weight is in your right leg. You feel the weight over the ball of the foot, set your right knee, and slowly spiral down, moving side to side, arms relaxed. The entire purpose of this exercise is to release the hip joint. Allow the qua, the hip joint, to get sung. And you do that by dropping down and working against the impulse to push away from the earth. You're going down to meet the earth. And you're sinking, sinking. Everything is dropping down. This allows your chi to sink down. Now sh shift into the back foot. Keep your same foot forward. Your right foot's forward. You go on the ball of your right foot and sink into your left leg. You feel the, uh, the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee and same thing, releasing the qua, sung qua. The qua is an important part of your energy system. It's like a huge valve that allows the energy to connect up between your lower part of your body and the upper part. And when you do that, you open up the pathway to feel the earth chi. Claws blocked, your chi gets stuck in your head. Sinking. You can do this for much longer than we're doing here. This is just a demonstration of what you can do. Good. Now bring your right foot back, step forward with your left foot, sink into your left foot. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, pick up your right heel. And do the same thing with your left leg. You're allowing about 90% of your weight to settle into that left leg. Notice that my hip is not pushing out to the side at all. It's spiraling down. What I'm not doing is this. I'm not pushing sideways like that. Releasing. So it's not a pushing of my... Uh, my body right to left, it's a releasing, a releasing down. Then shift your back foot, your right foot, pick up your left heel, and do the same. Feel the ball of the foot, set the knee. Sung Kwa. Good. Then come back, feet about a hip width, and you want to feel yourself being pulled up by the Mi Wan. There's a, that soft spot there, not your Bai Wei, the crown point, but back. And so you'll find that your chin drops and your eyes come down about 30 degrees when you do that. And you tuck in the chin so you feel a pull here at the base of the skull. Feel your, your head lifting up and you'll feel yourself tugging on the trapezius muscles, lengthening that and opening up the jade pillow there at the base of your skull. This allows for more energy and better circulation. It also unkinks the dural tube and allows cerebral spinal fluid to move more freely. So what we're going to do is, is reclaim our ability to use the atlas. A lot of us pivot our neck, our head motion, down here from C7. And we want to get back up here to C1. 
the cervical one, uh, which is your atlas. And that's the way that our, our bodies are designed. So you do it by reaching up with the, the knee one and you tuck in your chin so you feel that stretch, then lift the chin and then drop it. And you want to feel that lengthening because most likely those muscles, connective tissue, have gotten shortened over the years. If you're remembering how to move from your atlas. Good. And then side to side from the atlas. Very top pose. You're not going to move very far, but you just want to get that feeling of what that feels like to move from, from way up top there. Now we're going to go down and feel the pull on the neck muscles. So you're reaching out with your right hand and reaching out with the top of your head. Feeling the pull there along the, uh, along the neck muscles and the connective tissue in the shoulder. And you move your arm around till you find where it does you the most good. center. Now you're going to slowly release your spine so that from the from your atlas starting there you release one vertebrae at a time going down and I'll do it sideways so you breathing as you exhale you let go a little more Bend your knees. This is not a stretch, it's a release. You're letting go. the pull from your coccyx all the way to the top of your head. You're lengthening the spine. forcing anything. You're releasing. And bend your knees, sit down, and slowly come up. Stacking your vertebrae, one on top of the other.
Back to neutral. Resettle. And bring your hands up. Center line open. And slowly arch your back. Opening the shoulders. Opening the chest. Allow your heart to reach to the sky. And come back. Now bow forward. Bring your arms across your chest, arch round your back, and then open and arch your back, opening the shoulders, opening the chest. Knocking on the door. This one, you bring your arm out like this, you set your elbow, and you rotate backward like this as if you're knocking on the door behind you. The other hand goes this way, and so you're creating this movement backward, opening your shoulders and opening your chest. Okay? And then you reverse it, and then. Into the leg that your upper hand is in. You want to really spread the arms, feel that those tissues elongating. Good, and back down. Next is big circles. You arch your back, open, take a deep breath, and then round your back, bring your arms forward, bend your knees and sink. Squat down, hands come back, and then up and arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, and exhale. Arms are very relaxed. Oh, shoulders are very relaxed. You're exploring the range of motion in your shoulders. Good. Then reverse it. Inhale. Arch the back. Exhale. Forward and down. And exhale, sink. And relax. Small circles, bring your hands up, out. Palms down, elbows down, shoulders relaxed. Bring your shoulder blades together and back and small circles as if you're drawing tiny circles with your fingertips. Just using the rotator cuff muscles there. Palms up and go the opposite direction. Opening, relaxing your shoulders, reaching out.
palms down, side to side. Reach out, inhale, open, and exhale. And reach out, open, and exhale. And open, inhale. And inhale, and exhale. Good. And hands down. And hands up to chest, heaven and earth. Reach up with your right hand, down with your left, pressing down, really lengthening, straightening the arms, lengthening the tissues. And inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And inhale. And back. Step in. Take a deep breath. And press down. As if you're pressing down on a big plunger, clearing the energy, creating space for the nature tree to come in. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a good exercise to get the exercise system to, uh, to start your workout and unkinks the hoses and allows the, uh, the engine to flow a little more freely.